of you by now are very familiar with Odyssey to Mind, and we're very pleased this afternoon to um, invite you to sort of our little dress rehearsal. I need to warn you, however, you can stay back, stay back the second reason, that we still have one more week to go, which means we're really not quite ready yet. So you will see like a partially um, painted sign, and you may see a few other things that are not quite finished. And by the end of today, the teams are going to say, oh, we forgot. And so this gives them a wonderful chance to find out what they still need to do before next Saturday. Next Saturday, um, in Wells, at the junior high, the high school, and the elementary school, these guys, there's four teams here, but we have seven teams all together. Three teams were not feeling like they were quite ready to present, but they will be ready by next Saturday. <clears throat> so you're going to see four performances today, but next Saturday there will be seven teams representing Acton Elementary School, which is pretty exciting. Usually, I haven't seen, but usually we have about the highest percentage of, of um, Odyssey students for one given school. So um, I hope that some of you might have a chance to come and cheer us on. So Odyssey the Mind is a problem-solving competition. And these guys have all had several months now. <coughs> this is our off-stage section. They've had several months to um, try to solve a problem, and they only have eight minutes to solve the problem when they actually do any competition. There's uh, also a spontaneous section where they have a problem that's given to them that they answer on the spot, which might mean building something or just answering questions in creative ways. Now, the biggest thing that we always tell kids is that they are totally responsible for their performance. The hardest thing about being a coach is we can't give them ideas. They have to come up with them themselves, and that's not always easy for the coach to uh, bite your tongue and sit on your hands, I always say. Because they say, can you help me do? And I'll say, nope. You have to figure out how to do it yourself. Like, something had to be tied a few minutes ago on this team. They didn't have anybody on their team that could tie a tight knot. So somebody said, we'll tape it instead. Duct tape does wonders. So they taped it. Because I, I couldn't tie it for them. They have to do it themselves. So they figure out how to be pretty resourceful. Anybody who's on an Odyssey team gets to be very creative and resourceful. So we have four teams that we're going to show you today. The first team is a primary team. We do have two primary teams. If you are on the other primary team, team two, would you stand up for just a minute? You're not going to perform today, but would you stand up if you're on Mrs. Bishop's Odyssey of the Mind primary team? One, two, three, four, five. I think we have two more somewhere. E, where? Oh, you're right there. Okay, you can sit down. They're not going to perform to you today, but they will be doing it next Saturday. They have a very, very tough problem. I think even some of you bigger kids trying to think about this would, would have trouble. They have to create a device, this is their very interesting device, that uncovers three surprise objects from five feet, eight feet, and ten feet away. The um, demonstration of the solution would be presented during a performance that integrates raising the containers and the surprise objects into its theme. The performance will also include a narrator character and a setting that undergoes a change at the end to send a message to the audience. Okay, so when we get to an actual performance, they, the judges say, Act in elementary school, are you ready? We'll lead you to the circus. All right, you may begin. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today you are going to be seeing some awesome 
some tricks. In ring one, you are going to see Jasmine and Allie doing eye pop and hula hoop tricks. <laughs>
the second group that's going to be today, and I was going to do most of the talking. Yeah, you can hand it around. If you need a second one, you can have a second one. All right. These guys are doing a problem called Weird Science. And in this one, and in this one, the problem is to create and present an original performance about a team of scientists on an expedition to uncover the cause of mysterious events. The location of the expedition will be selected from NASA Earth Observatory photographs. They had to do some research for this one. During the expedition, the scientists will use a team-created device to collect two samples. The performance will include a technical representation of the mysterious events, the appearance of actually traveling, and a report on the findings. Solving scientist. I'm Sam, one of the scientists. Hi, I'm Jillian. I'm also a scientist. Jillian finds useful clues. We use the clues to find the research, and we use the research to solve the problem. Press the button. Our location to solve a mysterious problem is the south coast of Africa. But is that water? I wonder why it involves water. search for clues. You can go. I'll make sure our site's set up. It's not snail slime or sludge. It's this 
It's sea monster, but if the water's warm, we're right. It's warm. Okay. Uh, don't freak out. Let's figure this out, okay? Okay. Hey, I got an idea. You first. We could put dynamite in the lake. That might work. Well, here's my idea. We can capture the sea monster and use it for scientific research. That works too.
the best door around. Yeah. <laughs> even I did. I mean, even I shop here. Can you tell? Yeah, can't you tell? <laughs> okay, Mary, here's... Okay, Mary, here's the phone. First, you need to call Madame Joanne's Dance Academy. They have crazy costumes. All right. Is this Ma'am Joanne's Dance Academy? Yes, my store is failing. Do you have any idea why? Not completely, but this is new news. What, what am I going to do? What if it has something to do with the pe all the people moving and getting laid off? You know this is really bad. We have got to do something. Our town is counting on it. I know what you mean. Well, keep going. What's wrong? Everyone, ex everyone quit except my three good dancers had to leave. No. Everyone quit, quit except my three good dancers because all of the people getting laid off. I swear, they were literally angels. Oh my, this is not good. I know, it's terrible. Well, I'll call you later, okay? <sighs> okay, bye. Now I need to call Crazy Costumes. Thank you, we need to talk. My story isn't making any money. I had no clue. That's it, I know, perfect idea. I'll ask those three angels to come to my office. And maybe they'll know, they will know what to do. What? Well, are you there? Sir? Sir? What? Joanna, I have news. You said they're literally angels. What makes them angels? Well, their names are Jasmine and Calais. Jasmine can translate my other angel, Calais, who can't speak in only ballet dances. Then my other angel, Tap Lantern, who tap dances, doesn't have any special features. Perfect! Get them, please. Okay, I will go get them right now.
ready to do the shun? Yep. Girls, shh. Girls, showtime. Oh, hello, Mary. We found a, a singer. Her name's Carol. Carol, my assistant? Yep. Who knew she was such a great singer? Well, I certainly did not. Okay, well, why don't you guys just break a leg? Tonight, we're showing you a talentful dance the truth is all about. Faith, hope, love, happiness, and talent. Oh, and we will be taking dono donation for, to support our town. Okay, now the people you have been waiting for, the girls that fixed up, fixed up your theater so you can enjoy this show. Javi, Calais, Tacolina, and Madam Joanna. And here we have our singer, Carol. Now. Let's have the show begin. Our first name is Talent. Us and fame is what we do. Forget about that. This town's so exciting. There's no frowns in. We give up the egg up when we fall. And now with all the donations we earned, our once poor town has turned into the center of the arts. Oh, and by the way, our annual arts fair is the most popular fair in all of Dance of Chupas. That's my story, it's all I have to tell. And for now, my phone will always be ringing a bell, Rain. asking Rain. if there's a real estate Rain. company in town. Rain. And that was the economy failing for the last Elementary school. 
Kindergarten! Yeah. 